Today I'm going to teach you about force sensors, also known as force sensitive resistors. There are two common variants. The first is a smaller round sensor, and the second is a larger square sensor. I have the square sensor, so you'll mainly see me use that one. However, they're both identical in wiring and code. Force sensors decrease in resistance as more force is applied. That means that in a circuit, the voltage will increase with force. We can measure the circuit's voltage and turn that into data, effectively gauging the amount of force applied. As an example, let's use this data to turn on an LED when the sensor is pressed. Now let's get into the wiring. I used male to female jumper cables to connect the sensor, but another easy option is to use regular jumper cables and a breadboard. First, let's connect one of the sensor's leads to the 5 volt port. Then, connect the second lead to an analog port. In my case, I use analog zero, but you can use whichever one you want. On the same wire, or the same channel of the breadboard, connect one leg of a 10,000 ohm resistor. The other end of the resistor should lead to ground. Next, let's wire up the LED. Connect the positive longer leg of the LED to a resistor around 220 ohms. Connect the other end of the resistor to a wire leading to a digital pin such as 12. Finally, connect the shorter negative pin to ground. Here's what the wiring will roughly look like if you use a breadboard. There's also a link to a more clear electrical diagram in the description. Now let's write some code. First, we'll define integers that we'll use later in the program. Set the integer pressure pin to A0. This is the analog input pin that receives voltage. Then create an integer called force, which will measure the analog pin. Finally, make an integer for the LED pin and set it equal to the pin number that you're using. In void setup, we'll just set the pin mode for the LED as output, and then write serial begin 9600. Now in void loop, let's start by setting force equal to analog read pressure pin. This will set force to a measured voltage. Then add the command serial print line force. Now let's make an if statement. If the integer force is greater than 500, then run the command digital write LED high. This basically says that if more than a medium amount of force is applied, then turn the LED on. For the else section of the if statement, put digital write LED pin low. This command turns the LED off. After the else statement, write delay 100. In summary, this code says that if there is above a medium amount of force applied to the sensor, then turn the LED on. Otherwise, turn the LED off. That wraps up the programming part. There's a link to this code in the description below. Here's how the project should work when you're done. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll help you out as soon as I can. Thanks for watching!